What's going on everybody? Um, figured I'd demonstrate the negative resistance phenomenon again. Meaning, that is the charge on our source supercapacitor. And when I run the, when I run the ringer, um, what will occur is I have the correct resistor here on the output, the correct resistor value to form negative resistance in the circuit and we can see this effect heavily on the analog amp meter here so I will connect, I will power up the circuit and the circuit will consume more power open circuit than when it runs a 10 watt load right here a 10 watt resistive 12 volt halogen load So here we can see that effect. This is the very interesting negative resistance phenomenon. Um, watch the meter. The load will light and we will consume less power. Not sure if you can see that occurring. And this would be your output that recharges batteries. This is the most efficient version of the ringer yet. and. Uh, I should say this is the 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 correct part ringer that would be on the generator board. So again, hopefully I can display that that negative resistance effect. It appears as, as if we have the full 10 watts and our power consumption drops. You can see when we run this resistive load, the voltage even increases on our source that's powering up the circuit. Hopefully you can clearly see that. And again, um, this occurred from the correct resistor value being here. And all I did was earth ground this to my heater. And if you put it in oscilloscope here, you'll see very interesting waveforms. So, again, I will run this. Looks like we have the full 10 watts. And uh, right now I'm accidentally shorting it out. There we go. So there's a negative resistance effect. When that effect occurs, we still have phenomenal wireless power in the device to the point where it's almost as good as my Tesla coil transmitters. Look at that, that, that hurts my eyes to look at. Also, you can bring um, a receiver coil near this thing, a special one. Find it. Yeah, it's this one. So if I just bring this special receiver coil near the ringer, I can light an LED. I'll hook that up and show you. I'll hook up this LED and show you. And I'm filming one-handed after getting off a nine-hour workday, so you'll have to forgive me. Now I will just simply bring this near the ringer and this will light up no problem as long as I'm not shorting it out there we go and notice how I can do this there is no increase in power on our amp meter there is no dimming in our 10 watt halogen at all and this is literally just a wireless pickup coil that you can see here Literally just a wireless pickup coil that I bring in the correct spot near the negative resistance ringer. And look at that. While we still maintain phenomenal wireless power. So I figured I'd demonstrate that. Um. 
yeah, we're consuming less power from the source while loads are run wirelessly via that negative resistance. And for those who doubt what's going on or doubt this, we can take a quick look around my messy room. There's nothing under the desk. Um, there's nothing on my work table. Those are all my old Tesla coils, transmitters. My wall of shit that I print out from you guys and hang up. So, pretty much a full room tour. Um, I have another workshop in the basement that's below me, but that's like 20 feet below me. And again, if you want to see me over here, that messy toolbox under this desk. So, and again, this is literally just a wireless receiver. You can see it right here. I can pick it up and move it, no problem. I can move this thing anywhere I want. But it won't activate or turn on until you bring it near the ringer. Get it in the right spot, it'll get really bright. And I uh, can even turn a small motor. This output can even turn a small motor and recharge a 9 volt battery. You can do whatever you want with. So, I'll connect up this motor. It actually wants to go quite quick. If I don't short out my light, there we go. So we have a motor going, we have a 10 watt light going, we have the negative resistance phenomenon displaying in full force, that's our input we're consuming, and we still have wireless power. Something's being bumped, there we go. The motor slightly moves as it runs. Still phenomenal wireless power from the negative resistance. Even on my multimeter, Ooh. and the uh, this radiant energy effect will be present in the entire area around the circuit to the point where it'll bend your mind and is almost baffling. This is just a um, 14 volt DC super cap. Watch this. How crazy is that? And for those who say, oh, you secretly have a transmitter somewhere, well, no, I'll disconnect the ringer. Ringer is disconnected now. We're not consuming any power. My wireless power effects are dead. This isn't lit anymore. My wireless power effects are dead. My light is out, my motor is out, we're consuming no power, that's hot, we're consuming no power, there's the voltage on our source, I'll connect it again, and yeah, th there it is, so, I don't know what else you guys need, and again, um, you can take that output, you can take the output that's running this light, the negative resistance output, and rapidly use it to recharge a 12 or 14 volt DC battery or super cap that then runs an inverter which would then run your loads your light bulbs um, and depending on how heavy you earth ground this part of the circuit will determine your negative resistance phenomenon like right here, see how we consume more power without earth grounding? Now I will connect the earth. The load gets the the loads um get brighter and we consume less power with that heavy earth ground right there. I wonder what would happen if we grounded it into a lake. So again, phenomenal wireless power effects. 
almost to the point where it doesn't make any sense, like how that's possible. You could build resonant coils just around this thing on the same tabletop and capture that energy without affecting the source. Really bright over here. Certain hot spots the energy focuses in. Ah, uh, all the power with this device, when in proper resonance, seems to be flowing outside the device, not in the wires. The wires just act to, um, I don't know, maybe bound something, but all the power is not flowing within the wires, which is very interesting. So, that's that. And again, that light actually got brighter. I move this wireless pickup coil near the ringer, and as the motor spins, that light actually gets brighter, and we consume less power. So I'm not sure if there's some kind of inductive kickback from the motor that's uh, doing that, which is very interesting. And again, that's the negative resistance effect being displayed to you. We are consuming less than one amp, a little over half an amp, and we're able to run a 10 watt halogen bulb, 12 volt 10 watt halogen bulb, to just about full intensity, it looks full intensity to me, it's certainly giving off heat, um, run a motor wirelessly, still potentially have near infinite wireless taps, uh, if you were to bring a coil near this thing, ground it, you'd have all the light you want. You can make an unlimited amount of this type of light. And to display that, here's a, my other ground connection, which just goes into the center of my DC power supply, which is not connected in any way to this thing. Um, I'm just using the earth ground from it. I don't even need the earth ground, it just makes it a little more efficient. So again, I'll hook that earth ground up. And as you see, it gets a little more efficient with that earth ground. So, you earth ground it in two spots. The further apart the two earth grounds are, the better it will perform. Um, so yeah. I don't know what more there is to show in this video. Um, I showed you all the negative resistance phenomenon. The fact we have excessively good wireless power. I can get both these to light up. No problem. You got, like, I'm not kidding when you can light up an unlimited amount of these. And the way you would do it is each one would be separate and earth grounded through a capacitor. And you can light up as many as you want with no input drain on your source. So, that's that. And that's running with some torque. You can hear that. You can use that output to recharge a 9 volt battery. I'll have to disconnect that thing is so just a little motor. Put him up here. Uh, I'll move the wireless pickup, who outputs about 80 volts DC. And again, I will end this video by demonstrating the negative resistance phenomenon. So, no load, load, no load, load. You can see us literally consuming less power when we connect that, lo ooh, connect that load. And this is a 80 volt DC output that you got to be careful with. Like that's negative resistance there folks and we will do a multimeter on that output multimeter reading and you don't want to touch that output it'll hurt so there's our DC voltage here we have a DC voltage of 83 volts and open circuit we consume more power than when we are under load which again because of that negative resistance
And for those who want to know what's occurring here, I already explained it. The output of the ringer goes through the correct value resistor to create negative resistance, and we earth grounded it. Um, you're literally seeing it, the effect, right before your eyes in this video. Can't deny it whatsoever. We consume less power as a load lights to full intensity. Except I keep shorting my leads out on accident. There we go. And again, this is how the device looks. It's just about portable. That's my special negative resistance coil. Fully tuned, wireless, wrapped around the ringer. Um, a little hesitant to pick this up, but there's nothing fishy underneath it. I'd love to display that. This thing is heavy though. I think we got it. Yeah, there we go. There's nothing underneath it, so. That's that. And again, yeah, thank you everybody for the support, the likes, the comments. Uh, we're literally drowning in orders. Um, all orders will be done soon, shipped out to everybody. Uh, I believe all orders should be filled and complete in less than two or three weeks. And everybody who had large orders, you have a permanent discount for life on all of our future products. So, a deep thank you to everybody who made large purchases. And yeah, things are very interesting. And again, you would then use that output to rapidly recharge this thing which then runs your inverter so and as you in that negative resistance phenomenon is still present when you go to recharge a, uh, a source so we're putting 80 volts of negative resistance into this thing this uh, super cap and it will recharge this thing fast As you see, that's how quick it'll charge it. From being dead, we're almost at 12.9 volts. Probably say 13 soon. Anyway, I don't know if I just want to hold it there until it says 13. It won't be long before it says 13. Um, this video was going on long enough. But, we'll see doesn't say 13 but within 15 seconds I'll do something else and then possibly end the video so yeah you get the idea it's at 13 so and we're supercharging that fast with the negative resistance phenomenon there's probably more than 10 watts going in here I'm not sure it's kind of hard to measure the negative resistance phenomenon still trying to get to the bottom of a few things but the community really helped with making this thing more efficient and so did chat GPT and again to end it here's that negative resistance effect So yeah, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, uh, join the Patreon, even if it's for free. We have an archive of electrical knowledge on it, um, written by the ancient masters. That'll give you a very good understanding of things. Um, even if you don't have time to read it, you can just download an app that reads it to you, and you can learn all this electrical knowledge while just wearing headphones for free. So again, thank you to everybody. And yeah, things are very interesting.